I'll assume you're watching this video because you're either performing some periodic maintenance to your Bennett trim tabs or you're doing some troubleshooting with a minor problem that you've had. One thing that's helpful to understand is that this is an electrohydraulic system. What that means is each trim tab system has a control which allows you to independently move the tabs and it sends electric signals to an electrohydraulic power unit. This power unit consists of two independent solenoid valves and a reversible motor. You run the motor in forward to put the trim tabs down. You run the motor in reverse to bring them back up. This moves fluid into a slave cylinder which pushes the trim tab down allowing water flow to be deflected, the stern to raise, and the bow to be lowered. Oftentimes when we're helping with troubleshooting at Bennett, we run into the problem where one trim tab works perfectly, yet one trim tab isn't moving at all. The boat owner is often led to believe that the problem was with the hydraulic cylinder, when in fact we should be looking somewhere else. Diagnosing this problem, what's most important to understand is the two solenoid valves on top of the power unit individually control the two trim tabs. You've got one valve for the starboard side, one valve for the port side. They're color coded green and red as appropriate. When we have one tab that does not want to move, it means one of these valves is either not getting power or it is burned out because it's had power on it too long. It's also important to keep in mind that just because you hear the motor running doesn't mean that the valve itself is working. With the ground wire for our power unit connected to the ground on a battery, we can do a simple test with a hot lead from the positive side of the battery, energizing the four wires one at a time. The blue and the yellow wires, you'll hear the motor run. The red and the green wires, you hear a clicking sound from a working valve. With our hot lead, we can energize each one of the wires separately. The blue and yellow wires will make the motor activate. The green and red wires will operate the solenoid valves.